my style has always been kind of aggressive <laughs> plus, although I'm more moderate. I, I don't think I, I mean, not like the great ones, not like David Brinkley with his style of talking in which just listening to him was interesting, no matter what he was talking about. No, I, I just sort of did it straight. Uh, but my style was sort of straight ahead. And uh, I tell you, if you sit in the back of the press room with your hand up waiting to be called on, you're never going to be called on. You've got to be aggressive, it seems to me. You don't have to be rude. I'm not endorsing that. That's not what it's about. Bombastic or any of that, although I have been accused of that. But, but if I had a style, it was, yes, you have to be inquisitive as a reporter, but you have to aggressively push it. Hey, what's behind that door? You can't come in here. Well, I'll find the back door and get in there, and that kind of thing. Uh, at, at ABC, uh, I got to do these many things, although I thought <laughs> two months after I was hired that I had really destroyed my, my career. It, this is what had happened. Leonard Goldenson, the founder of the ABC network, uh, wanted to sell and merge with ITT, which was then run by a man named Harold Janine. And the merger had been done, except, of course, for approval of the courts. And the Justice Department opposed it on antitrust grounds. So every day in the uh, winter, early winter of 1967, uh, one of us would be sent down to the courthouse to see whether an opinion had been rendered. And it fell to my lot to be there the day that the judgment came down by the court that they would not approve the merger. And I had to call Jim Haggerty in New York and say, I've got bad news. Now, there was bad news. And Leonard Goldenson called all of his department heads in, including Le Elmer Lauer, head of ABC News, and said, you're going to cut your budgets. And he imposed a cut of, I think, about 8% or so on ABC News. Now, our budget in those days was only about $35 million. Now, that's real money to me, but in, in terms of, of what it buys and what he bought then, wasn't much compared to CBS and NBC. And we were coming on an election year. I mean, we had conventions to cover, we had election to cover, we had the campaigns to cover, and we're told, cut the budget, or Elmer Lauer's told. He came up with a unique device. He announced that for the first time in modern times, uh, ABC would not cover the conventions gavel to gavel. In those days, the networks would start on Monday morning and end late Thursday night, and I mean, while that <laughs> convention was in session, that's all you'd get. And he said, well, you know, the American public can get it. We'll do 90 minutes every night. The reason he did that was to save the money, plus give the entertainment division the ability to run their entertainment shows and make money from commercials. I mean, he's trying to do what Elmer insisted on, or rather what the Leonard Goldenson insisted on. Uh, and he was going to curtail everything. Well, I, I sat there one day, having heard that, and, and thought, I've ruined my life. I mean, here I've joined the network. I knew it was a number three network. I, I, and, but it's not, not, not even the number three network. It's decided to be like number five and a half. And at that moment, Elmer Lauer passed by. Sam, he said, because Elmer was a happy-going, great guy. Hey, how you doing? I almost said, oh, terrible, Mr. Lauer. But I said, oh, OK, Elmer. Well, it, it, did, it did work out. We did cover the conventions. Uh, I went to Chicago and was tear gassed along with everybody else on Michigan Avenue in front of the hotel. Uh, We'd gone to Miami Beach earlier, where the Republicans held a nice civil convention. Uh, I almost got an exclusive interview with Richard Nixon. President Nixon, at the end of his convention, uh, decided he wanted to shake hands with every one of the delegates. And so they put large walkways up to the presidential platform where he had delivered his acceptance address. This was for his re-election, uh, rather for his uh, uh, re-election 1972 I'm talking about. Uh, I got in line. Now I've got this headset on. I've got this big battery pack around me. I mean, you know, I'm a floor correspondent. I've got this microphone. And the guy at the line says, what do you want to do? I said, why, I just want to shake hands with the president. I said, okay. So I walk up. And I'm about to get there. And I'm saying to the control, hey, I'm about here. I'm about here. I'm going to, I'm going to interview the president of the United States. And I hear Howard K. Smith saying, so for ABC News, good night from Miami Beach, and good night from the convention. I'm screaming, ah! I get there, I look at the president, I shake his hand, I say, I say, he said, oh? And I said, 
Oh, and I asked him some question and left. 